I made this video. Yes, this particular one, and this was how you could clone your camera on the Vimeo software to create multiple shots using just a single camera. And I also promised to make a follow-up video on the OBS software. Now let's go over to OBS. Over here on my OBS screen, I have a single camera picking the host and the guest. And I've been able to duplicate or rather clone this camera into different sections with different color grading. Now let me go ahead and show you. Now if you take a look here, I have for the guest, it has a different color from the main shots. And also you have here the host, that's for the host. You can also do a different color grading on this particular one. And you have the double close here. You can also do a different color grading on this particular one. And also you could also set your scene transition duration to any number you want for a smooth transition. Now let me go ahead and increase this number to 2000 as the duration. And if I change it to the guest, see how it slowly moves. If I change it back to the host, you could also see how it slowly moves. And if I change it to the double close, you could see how it slowly merges the two of them together. And you could increase the number and also reduce the number. This is the first time of coming across the channel. Remember, smash that red subscribe button below. Also turn on the notification bell so YouTube will notify you first whenever I drop any new content on this channel. But without any further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. <laughs> you're going to do go ahead and open your web browser and i've also dropped the link of this website in the description of this video it's called move and this is the move transition that we're going to be downloading and installing on our pc to give us that smooth smooth transition on different camera section that we're going to be duplicating on the obs software now once you get here remember i'll drop the link in the description of this video click on the download button here and just go ahead and download if you're using windows if you're using mac this is the move transition that we just downloaded go ahead and extract it click on here extract once you finish extracting the move transition let's go ahead and open it you're going to see the data and then obs plugin now copy these two folders right click copy and once you're done go ahead and open your local disk click on this pc over to your local disk and from here scroll down to you see program files Double click on the program files and scroll down to you see OBS Studio. Double click on the OBS Studio and paste the two folder you've copied here. Right click and paste. So it's going to ask you to replace. Click on replace. Do this for all the current items. And you can see here, I've successfully pasted this two folder here. And once you're done, the move transition has been successfully installed on your own OBS Studio. Now let's go ahead and open the OBS software. This is going to close this and then open the OBS software. Now, how do you activate the move transition? Over here on your scene transition, click on it, you're going to see move, okay? So if you follow the installation up rightly, you're going to see move. Let's go ahead and bring in our main camera. Now click on this plus sign here, which is the add button, and then go over to video capture card, click on okay, bring that in on the OBS software. Make sure your camera is picking your host and the guest. Once you're done bringing in your camera, the next thing you're going to do is to duplicate the shots. Now go over to the scene section here, click on this plus sign here, add a scene, and let's name this guest shots or guest come. Let's name this guest come. And once you're done, click on OK. And from here, go ahead and click on the plus sign on the scenes here, or on the add a scene, click on it, and let's name this host come. And once you're done, click on OK again and also go back and add another scene now you can add multiple scenes depending on how many angles you want to create on or how many times you want to duplicate your camera now go ahead and click on the add scene here and let's name this host and guess close up or so just name this this is close yeah i think it's fine let's just extreme close or anything let's just give it close and that's as it together now let's go ahead and re ar arrange this then just drag all of them now the first one we want the um the guest to be uh, after our camera and then the second one will have, or the third one rather wants it to be our host and then the last one will be our host and guest close and once you've already created all the scenes and arranged it together now go ahead and click on the main shots that's your main camera that you brought in picking the host and the guest together right click on it and go over to copy now go to the guest count, right click, and you see the paste here, the reference. Whichever one you do, either reference or duplicate is perfectly 
fine that's to duplicate it for you let's go ahead and crop out the section that we don't want because this is for the guest alone now hold the alt key on your keyboard take your mouse to the line the side depending on which section you want to crop from and then don't let go of the alt key and you can now drag 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 to the section you don't want and let's also go ahead and remove this particular section let's take his head down a little bit once you're done cropping out the section you don't want let go of the alt key on your keyboard can now arrange it just use this line here to expand it and this time you're doing this make sure you're not holding the odd key again and that is it so over here we have our guest now let's say you want to do a color grading for it on the scenes i'll click on this here this um, open scene filter click on it and from here let's go ahead and click on this plus sign here click on that and then go over to maybe you want to add a, a lot or to do some color correction or anything you want to do let's say i want to do apply a lot or this here let's just do a color correction click on this color correction and from here you can just make some few adjustments to it you know to make it different from the other one so the two of them won't look the same just increase the saturation just what you want play around with it and once you're done click on close and you can see how this one is looking though it's a bit reddish click on this filter again and then let's make some adjustment on the saturation just just a few adjustment on the saturation increase the brightness a little bit increase the contrast increase the current the gamma a bit and you could see what we have here on the screen now at the same time go over to the main camera that you brought in on the sources and you copy go over to the host cam on the scenes right click and paste reference whichever one you do either reference or duplicate is perfectly fine just paste reference or duplicate whichever one you do either reference or duplicate is perfectly fine all right now let's click on this and hold the alt key on your keyboard and let's take out the guest because it's really the host that we want positioning let go of the alt key positioning to where you want it to be and then make sure a few adjustment on it okay just make a few adjustments on it and you could do it close depending on how close you want it to look like okay so let's just position this at the center and once you're done or oh, you have the um, host now click on this um open scenes filters down at the screen here click on that and let's also apply a different color correction on this one it's not really necessary but if you want to just to make a few changes to it so they will look different Increase the saturation a bit, you can play around with the contrast, reduce the brightness just a little bit. Then you can increase the gamma. Let's see, you want to reduce that. Then the holes and this can just let's see, reduce, increase this a little bit, close. Now this one is a different shot. You can see the color different from this one. This one is different, this one is different, this one is different. The two of them are the all of them are different. Now the purpose of one of this is just to you know, maximize the people watching for them to think that we're using different cameras so it's not really necessary all right now go back to the main camera on the sources right click copy again right click copy again and then go to the host and guest right click and paste that's the reference or duplicate whichever one you want to use and from here you can now hold the alt key on your keyboard shift to the area you want to take out let go of the alt key and then you can now readjust position it where you want it to be let go then readjust 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 uh, readjust and then this is it here position at the center of the screen and once you're done go ahead and click on the open scenes and um, filters here on the screen click on that and then you can also apply a different color correction or you can apply lots depending on whichever one you want to use let's say i want to use lots click on this browse and you can just select any of the lot i have some lots here downloaded on my pc remember i also showed you how to color grade your video on the obs software i made that video on this channel you could also go ahead and check it out i could see here i have another beautiful color here on the screen now at the side here where you have the scene transition you could increase the number that's the duration you could also reduce the duration as well and the purpose of it is just to create that how fast you want the transition to be from the main one to the guest to the host and then also the host and the guest close so depending on how fast you want the movement to be you can see here you can see here 
all of them have different ones and if i increase this to 2000 if i increase the duration to 2000 this is how the speed is going to look like now when the guest is talking and i want to change to the guest this is how slowly it will move now when the host is talking and i want to change to the host this is how slowly it will move and when i want the two of them close this is how it's going to look so you can increase the duration and reduce the duration as well now, one last thing how about the audio don't worry the audio will not be affected here is how to also fix that when you're bringing in your main camera make sure you did not attach your audio on it very very important while you're bringing in your camera when you click on the um, add button here go over to the video capture device here down down at the bottom of the screen you're going to see the audio here you see this audio here capture audio only don't select anything here don't you don't put don't attach any audio here or we use a custom audio and then start putting your own um, audio that you want to use you can see your microphone or whatsoever or custom audio that you have don't bring it in here here's how to do that if you have any custom audio that you're using don't bring it in along with your camera or cancel this go over to the settings on the obs and from here go over to audio now on the audio here you're going to see the mic auxiliary audio you see the first one mic auxiliary audio 2 mic auxiliary audio 3 and then 4. now click on the mic auxiliary audio 1 is always on the same board click on it and you can then select your custom mic that you want to bring in right select your custom mic that you want to bring in just like the one i have the jack mic on the mic and auxiliary audio one now select the custom mic click on apply and then okay you're going to see it on the mic auxiliary here you see this is showing here whenever i switch from one scene to another i won't have any issue at all with my audio because the audio was brought in separately to just sync in and everything will align together so you won't have any issue with your audio now also how about how do i know which one to position how to position you could also enable the studio mode on obs so you have a two different screen you have your preview window and also your output window now this way you can be able to you know know which one you want to change and this one you which one you want to switch take a preview if you turn off the studio mode whatever thing you pick here will automatically go live that if you're going live or if you're sending it out it will automatically go there so if, the, if you made any mistake it will show there as well so you can also go ahead except you know what you're doing you can also go ahead and enable the studio mode so you can be able to preview your shots that you've created before you finally send them out okay you can see here the move transition is already selected you can reduce this to 1500 the once you click on your guess or you click on double you can now transition on the two of them you can see here transition on the two and then also for your guess as well transition on it as well you can see how it looks like so this way you don't make any mistake at all thank you very much for watching